Alright guys, after many, many, many games of just straight losing, finally was able to get a really good game that I could pretty much talk over and talk about what I'm going to do, uh, how I went about the game. I actually get really fed this game, which is pretty nice. And you're going to be able to see it. I'm going to show you how everything kind of came to be, or at least my thought process behind it. Um, we're up against the Nivea. Nivea is a pretty annoying matchup. But pre-6, she's actually pretty vulnerable, and that's kind of where I try to take advantage of her. Um, yeah, you'll see how it goes. Rocking the cute little chroma is nice. I actually like this skin the best. This has been my favorite skin so far. As of now. At first I didn't really like it much, but... I don't know, it, it grew on me a lot, dude. Okay, anyway. Level 1. Not trying to do anything crazy. I'm just gonna last it from here. Waves in the middle. Ideally, I would want her to push in. So that maybe I can have more room to like all in level 2. But it seems like the wave is just going to be stuck here in the middle. I also want to make sure that I am preparing myself for the scuttle fight. The scuttle fight is probably going to come up around like 3 minutes. She's level 2 first. It's really hard to walk up on a Nivea because she has a lot of ways to poke. If you like try to walk up for an auto attack on a minion, like she can look for a Q. And the Q is is pretty fast now, and it's really fat. So you gotta be careful for that. And even if she doesn't throw a Q, like she can just throw an E on you and do free poke. So it's okay to take those, depending on if you want if you think the CS is worth it or not. But usually I don't like to get poked out too much early. The E doesn't really do much without the frost anyway. Okay, I see Leeson's going top. Couldn't deny that cannon. Just a little bit of pressure. Q, E, W, E out. Safe trades. She didn't throw out the Q because she knows that probably Katarina can avoid it. And if, let's say, I jump in on her, right? And I do end up avoiding the Q, then I can get an even bigger trade off. So sometimes they are hesitant to like throw out their CC. Maybe she wanted to see how I was going to play it out. I don't know. But yeah, wave still kept in the middle. She has exhaust, by the way. So, it's kind of annoying. Like, it makes it a little bit harder for me to actually go in. But I can get trades off like that. I had more health in her, so going for trades like that, keeping her low is good. She got the electrocute off, but I was able to get really good poke in. And now, I have the wave pushed in while Lee Sin's getting the scuttle. So, it's a good timing. Let's say the enemy jungler was there and tried to contest that scuttle, which I see Viego walking up the river right now, then I would be able to get there first. I actually don't know where I'm going here. I probably shouldn't have even like went to the bot side here because I saw Viego in the ward, but maybe I didn't see it at first. I do have TP here. I go for the Scion here, and that was kind of troll, actually. I, sh I should have went for the Viego. Uh, I don't know why I went for the Scion. Probably could because I, I was thinking that Aatrox was close to him too, so I had to pick one or the other. And I ended up picking the wrong one, sadly. Now, Anivia ended up backing here, which is fine, because the wave is actually going to push into me. So, this is a good time for me to back. I won't really lose much. Anivia loses minions from backing, so we're chilling. Lee Sin wants to get the scuttle. Got to keep that in mind. Karma's also setting up for uh, River, so that he can get the scuttle. So I just want to keep a conscious mind about it, but I also got to remember that I got a giant ass wave that I want to catch. Rel and Anivia are there. I sort of like hover around just to see if anything happens. Leeson gets the scuttle safely. We're good. We're level five. You see, we're level five. We still got a big wave on us and Anivia's just hit five. So we're actually going to be ahead this entire mage minion wave our team's doing pretty solid right now 
Now the way I want to sort of pressure the Anivia is basically just make a play or a trade where I can dodge or stun, right? So like maybe set up a Q, Ian, and then maybe W use the movement speed to like dodge a stun or maybe like eat W and then try to use that movement speed to dodge the stun. Should, there's, I guess like not too many ways to go about it. All I know is that I want to dodge or stun. Even if she like throws it out to try to like go for a last hit. Um, ooh, hold on. It's sad that I couldn't pop reg. I really wanted to pop reg there, but if you saw, like, I just basically knew I was going to hit six in that one minion, and I immediately jumped in on her. No matter if she hits her abilities or not on me, I knew that I could win the trade because I'm level six and I have my ulti. So as long as my ulti doesn't get canceled, we're, we're, we're in the clear. Also going to get Bork this game. I've been really liking Bork Nashers. It's been a, it's been pretty good. I, I just like the additive damage. They're getting drag here. I was able to push out a Nivea, so maybe we could have gone and contested it. But Lee Sin's at the top side, so right, we'll just give up the drag here. Nivea come back into lane. She is level five. I am level six, halfway to seven ish. She has no exhaust. That's good. She only has a tear and a amp tone. Should be able to fight her pretty easily. I don't have any wards on the sides, but I know Viego just got dragged. I don't know how low he was, but I right now I just want to catch this wave. It's a nice fat wave. We just guarantee get this wave. Leeson's also around. Was he looking for something? Set up the Q. Try jumping out of the Anivia. Maybe Leeson wasn't close enough. But, you know, Leeson was around the area, so I tried to get aggressive. And it's okay, because I also have a Vamp. So, I can heal up a little bit from the waves. I just want to, like, auto the minions. Leeson wants to get aggressive. Let's push out here. Now, Anivia can actually freeze this wave she wanted to like I, I was a little bit hasty on pushing that because I wanted to help out the Lee but Anivia ends up pushing the wave back anyway so the waves now even we get the jellies Anivia's running home but we're just gonna catch this wave Anivia is backing all right now I see top lane Debating, do I go top here? Scion goes in, which means they're committed. Which means I could potentially get something here. And they're still going, right? So we get the roam here. It's a good roam because Anivia is not here. We push out a lane. Looking at this Scion. He's that W though, so it's a little bit annoying. The Aatrox. The Aatrox QCC actually like stopping me, but I was able to get out. Knowing I'll get the reset and immediately just thinking about, okay, I need to jump the fuck out. Get the fuck out of there. And we were able to live. So we're good. We're on, we're at a good spot right now. And maybe it gets to get a push, but pressure, pressure in the other lanes. It's a trade off. If you roam out of your lane, you may potentially lose the XP, especially if you're roaming against an Anivia, right? Because Anivia just pushes so fucking fast. And look, she also got like the MR portion of the Banshees, which is like not that bad for me at all because we're going Bork anyway. So I should still like be able to beat her ass down with autos. So Nivia moves up. They get the rift, sadly. But I come in hot. Notice that I can't really do much. Scion's there. Lisa might cue me. All right. Now just go back to lane. Got to keep in mind that Viego does have Rift. This way is pushing into Nivea, so I do want to crash this. It's good to look at the where your minion waves are to see if you're if you should like immediately start pushing the wave or not. If it's like getting too close to your wave and too close to the lane, then you might want to wait before you. Um, push it in or else it might it just might not crash because remember like your minions 
when they're spawning and walking into lane like it's also mirrored the enemy minions so they might like so that's how you can kind of determine if like the minion wave has enough time to crash to the tower you know what i mean pink the bot side We're actually pretty ahead of this Nivea. Level 8, level 7. Leeson's around the area. See, I wasn't sure about my damage here. Oh, Leeson's coming, okay. Let's see how this goes. E. And then immediately set up. It's okay if Nivea uses Q. Couldn't pop her egg again, which makes me real sad. But luckily she is exhaust. Whenever exhaust is down. I have my TP. Now I didn't really know my damage against the Anivia, but I know for a fact that once I get Bork, like I can hard pressure her. So I'm kinda just waiting for that. Here I wasn't sure if I should have backed or not. But he drops down the rift. I really wanted money for my Bork. Hopefully I can catch some waves. I mean, the rift is going to take the tower, so the mi minion waves are going to push into me, right? So I get the gold here and get the bork. Alright, now, Vigo and Anivia are Mia. We got to make sure that they don't roam here. But I do have TP. Oh, dragon's up. Okay, so they're taking the drag. Which we, again, cannot contest. Okay, so they get two drags. But I get my pork. So, right now, I'm looking to pressure. I want to pressure. Especially that Anivia. Like, if she walks up, and I'm able to find and engage on her, then it's probably going to lead to a kill. See bot lane pushing in. I do have TP as well, right? So uh, I'm taking like a conscious like look at bot lane. Trying to make sure I keep them in check. She uses her ult. Alright, she gets me a stun, whatever. We're just going with the kill. Uh, start autoing. Throw ignite. Auto. She's dead. You know, that's what I mean. It's like knowing your power spikes. Knowing when you can get kills. Who you can kill. Even if you get your shit canceled, like you, you gotta know like if you still have damage or not, so that you can just kind of go in for the kill, you know. All right, so there's three bot side. Viego is actually top with the Scion. I see Viego get CC'd under tower. I was hoping, I was really hoping Viego would have, or uh, Aatrox would have kept going. I'm just going for some poke, whatever. And TP is kind of troll. Aatrox ends up dying. Partially my fault. But it's okay, I live. I think for that play to work, I probably should have TP'd earlier. Like when Viego was like actually running into the tower. If I like caught that sooner, I probably would have been able to kill the Viego. We're just going to catch this wave mid. Look around the map. Aatrox TPs and Scion. See, the thing is, like, Aatrox and Scion are just kind of duking it out at this point. Scion's ahead, but I think Viego is the one that's really pressuring the Aatrox. Oh, Viego uses his knockup, so I just go in on him. Get that sweet shutdown. Boom. Yeah. So, like, you, you kind of just walk up to him and see if he tries to, like, engage on you. And if he misses his core CC ability. You just jump in on him. And Boric is definitely what is making it possible there too. Boric is just really good single target damage. I don't know where Nivia went. Where'd she go? There's a tower here. I wanna hit it. Leeson's around the area too. Rel's coming. I don't know if she's with anybody else. So I'm just, just backing off. Looked like the way she was moving into the lane looked like someone was behind her, so. 
Uh, Ward gets placed. Leeson's over there. He is dead. Could I have done anything there? Maybe I don't. I don't. I don't think so, honestly. Or at least my plan was to back anyway. But maybe I could have like hovered around the Leeson a little bit, knowing Rel was coming. But like, I got all this money in the bank, and I kind of want to spend it, so. Three zero right now. We're pretty strong. Next item is gonna be Nashers. Anivia's tower is pretty low, so I do want to keep the pressure up on that as well. We see Lee Sin coming down bottom, and I also have a move here, so maybe I actually can't see when Dragon's up right now. Okay, it's coming up soon, yeah. It looked like it looked like I was hovering around Dragon here. No. Nivia tries to push in the wave. I just jump in. She misses her stun. And we just go for the kill. I just like step away for a little bit. I used the pink ward on the side bush up to my advantage. And I was able to pick up the kill on Nivia. She didn't stay coming. And it's nice, like Katarina can just kinda gap close onto anything. So like if there's a minion wave around like the target you want to jump on, you could like jump to that, E W, and then Q E, and then look for the engage there. Honestly, Aatrox doing a pretty good job. He's at least keeping the pressure top, even though like he was set behind from the Viego. So we're we're chilling. He brought Viego up there, so like we can freely just take this drag. But we see the sound coming down. We're not really too worried. And I'm pretty strong here, even though I couldn't buy. I only have my Bork. Silence coming down. Okay, dodge the rel ult and the scion. Play it slow. We're playing it slow. We know Anivia is probably coming too. Yep. All right. Now we just want to take this drag. Now we could end up really taking it. I think Scion did a good job stalling. Now, now we got a full blown fight here. Aatrox goes into the pit and dies. You know, you know how it is. Oh, he was kind of trolling there. Lee Sin also dies. So this is their third drag. So we got to make sure that they don't get soul. It would just, it's going to suck if they get soul. Alright, so back here, I want to get my items. So we can be nice and strong. So we're looking into Nashers. I like the double on hit. Also, when I get a sweeper too, because I'm pretty strong, so I want to play around vision and try to look for picks and stuff. Like a true assassin would. Rift is up as well. They could be taking it. I'm, I'm going to take this mid. Mid wave, because I don't want the tower to die. Save the tower. Now I'm looking towards bot. Viego's in the jungle. Yeah, we're moving. Okay, Viego's definitely in there. What can we get here? We're diving pretty deep. Probably going for that Jinx first. Look for E, E, W, Q, E, L, T, E, W, Q. Chilling. See, we're pretty strong. Now we're 6 0. Now, now we're. Now we're really strong. See, when it comes to AP Cat, like. If you're ahead, like, it's just, like, your lead just turns pretty astronomical. Like, there's still, you know, different things like, oh, uh, yeah, Katarina, like, still gets hard countered by certain champs and CCs and stuff like that. But, like, you know, if you play it smart, like, you're, you're going to do so much fucking damage if you're able to get your damage off pretty safely. We got our Nashers here. Now, I was debating here. I, I don't know if I wanted Zanya's Rift. I think they're both pretty good options. But it looks like I'm going for Riftmaker here. I should really like Riftmaker. Riftmaker with the double on hit items. It's just a lot of damage. And I I mainly get it for the Omni Vamp because I have Conquer. I actually grew to really like the item a lot. Just because I, li I like healing and I like the Conquer playstyle. And just the fact that you can do that with AP is nice. Okay, well, 
We have four people up here. Jensen River. Seeing if there's any sort of opportunities here. Ah, we cut off the Viego. WQ. Alright, now we can uh, pressure 4v5. They want to get Baron, but I'm like... Probably not, right? But we can't push in mid-wave either, because Anivia just clears wave so fast. But like, yeah, I wanted to go in potentially if Scion kept the engage going. Okay, I think we should just back up here. Like, Anivia just clears wave so easy. I don't know if Baron was the... Um, actually, no, Baron could have been a good call. I, I just wasn't sure at the time. I'm gonna go bot, I have TP. So, if anything happens. But I kind of use this time to just, like, rice. And I can get the tower as well. Throw pink there, use the plant. I don't want him to just have it. Now, when you split push with Cat, you just gotta, like, pray your team doesn't really take any too dumb fights because like you're gonna be entering the fight somewhat late even if you tp right so yeah you just gotta like hope your team doesn't you know engage or do anything stupid because then you just get a free tower so it's a good play good play here team doesn't engage so in a pretty good spot took bot tower for free now look around here like huh who could be here? Oh, science bot. Those two mid. Now Rel's going top. Viego's top. Dragon's coming up as well. So we gotta make sure we're good for that. Nevia's mid. You know, just take note that like I'm constantly looking at the map here. You know, like I'm like, okay, like where is everybody positioned on the map so I can kind of map out my next move? Pretty important. Very important, actually. Okay. Nivea, Rel, mid. It's just Scion. I just assumed it was just Scion. My Q flies over the wall. It's really nice. I just had to play around his Q. Just make sure I dodge that. Um, that, you know, I could play that off like it was on purpose, but I'm telling you it was a complete accident. But just, so, just know that, like, you can use your E to stop Scion ulti if he tries to escape. Cause I, it looked like I was winning the fight anyway, right? So like, I was guaranteed gonna win the fight. Sion probably just wanted to disengage and I just blocked his only way of escaping. By eating over, cause I'm a genius. Now we get the drag. We should be able to get this drag. Yep, we get the drag for free. I'm gonna continue to push bot. Sion's dead. Someone needs to respond to me if I just keep pushing in, right? So like, that would put us at an advantage because I'm strong. If someone comes down and splits with me, well, I guess sound spawn again. Oh, they started going. Okay, wait, wait, let me see how this goes. So I do TP. Yeah, that was a weird engage. Could have been a weird engage. Is that Scion? So I think Scion's TPing. Oh, it's no bueno right now. So they just get the drag. Viego flashes for me. Just, just eat out. Okay, well, they're they're gonna take Baron, which kind of sucks. I was like thinking like maybe I should have like went up there with them, but I don't think that was the play, honestly. I think it was better to just play it slow and like I was the strong one on their team, right? So like they should be a little bit careful of like trying to engage or trying to start a fight without me. But here, this kind of troll. Um, yeah, I, I overstay here for sure. I thought those wolves here. I just get fucking smacked by the Scion. Place a dagger there. Wait for somebody to walk in. Nivia walks in, uses Zanyas. It's just, it's just a good time. But we got rid of her uh, stopwatch, so that's good. <clears throat> um, yeah, we're 7 1. Now we're pretty, we're, we're like somewhat even, but they have the Baron, so they have the next move here, right? Leeson makes a good play here. Gets rid of the Viego. Viego's overstaying, clearly. And like, walking too close. We're in a good spot here. We're in a good spot. 
Like, because they don't have a full five with Baron, like, we have a better chance to, like, stall out and, like, prevent them from, like, pushing in. If they just waited and had every, all five just, like, pushed together, like, we could have been in danger. Now, Lee Sin goes in and pulls a Viego. Aatrox is trying to be a hero, gets exhausted. And now, Karma dies right in front of my eyes. So now I'm like, alright, what do I do here? I'm itching to go in for no reason. But I do. And then, yeah. So we end up killing the Jinx, which, which pays off, right? Like, Jinx is like, the ADC, they're going to take towers really fast with the jinx up but it doesn't matter Jin dies as you can see i am the strong one on the team i am basically like this game is on me basically because i'm i'm fed so i have to carry this game i don't expect aatrox to like just all of a sudden 1v5 like if anything this is my position to carry so i have to play smart right but i luckily um I, I don't know if like I, I I did get the shutdown on Jinx, so that was pretty good. So I'm just getting my items here. So we got a rift. Um, you know, at least they didn't push us for, and at least I was able to pick up two kills. Cause then if they had four, then maybe they could have pushed in a little bit, a little bit harder with the Jinx. But it's a good thing I was able to kill the Jinx before I died. So thank God. Inib's gone in the mid. Go and bot. I have TP in 75. I feel like I should. I don't know if I should be splitting here. But I go for it anyway. There's two top. Just Scion. Bottom lane. I think I should be able to fight him. Even though he's tanky. Like, he can't kill me. So. So they put three top. And I have 50 seconds on my TP. And I just don't want anybody to fight right now. I'm just splitting. If they put their pressure top, I mean, we just gotta give it to him, honestly. And now we just pray that Aatrox lives. Aatrox does live. 40 seconds on TP. Time is getting a little tight. Dragon's coming up, and it's gonna be the fourth drag for them if they get it. So we gotta prepare for this shit. So our team gets together. We know that Dragon's coming up, so we're gonna fight. Now, we are at a disadvantage in this fight. They're stronger overall as a team. But if I play my cards right, then maybe we can win a fight. Dragon comes up. Now what's the move here? I mean, I I honestly, as a Katarina, can't do much. And I don't want to go in and like die or take any risks because I am the big one here. I am the strong one here. If I die, they get to keep going and like hard pressure, right? Potentially end the game here, so I'm playing it safe. Okay. EW kill the Viego. Gets a little bit too hasty there. He turns into Lee Sin. You know, when you turn into Lee Sin as Viego, you also get the Lee Syndrome. Clearly. So that actually helped us out. And we were actually we, we just like stall from here. Lee Sin actually stole the drag, which like helped us out a lot. Like it delays their infernal drag if they do end up getting it on the next one right but just it's it's all about just delaying it we, we just want to delay it try to make plays before you know and try to prevent them from getting the soul they put four top we have five people here so i did want to go viego's dead they're they're, tr they're pushing up as four and so we just hard engage right so i'm going i want to go so gap close on the minions. EW, movement speed, get the Q. I wanna jump in. I have Zonyas, remember that. How I play this is important, very important. Okay, E, W, or Q, W, E. I really wanted someone to die here. I don't know what happened. Silent dies, me get the reset. Now I see a Viego, we just go for the kill. Played it pretty patiently. I, I took out like a lot of their like engage on me just with the Zanyas. Like it was really good. Um, Viego dies, Scion dies, Anivia dies. So we just 
get the Baron. You get the Baron right here. I, I go back. I have TP if they need me. But I just want to take this time to just clear the minion waves. Make sure our towers are good. So we do get the Baron here. And I'll see where it goes from here. I'm going to go into Lich Bane. After the Zanyas. I did forget to talk about the Zanyas by... Um, yeah, I wanted to get the Zanyas because I felt like I needed to do a lot of things on my own. And that last play was like a good example of like why Zanyas was a good buy here, right? Because like I'm the strong one in this team. I'm literally half the kills of the team. And so I need to do, I need to sort of take the initiative sometimes uh, when I see the chance. It really depends though. Like you don't want to always take the initiative if you're fed because you don't always want to be the one going in. Like teams are going to be prepared for that unless... You have a lot of damage. Because if you have a shit ton of damage and you jump in and you just fuck them up, then, like, yeah. Then, like, it's, it's like, no counterplay. But I ended up pushing in here. I do have TP. And now... Pushing the wave. Hopefully someone reacts. We go back. The idea is to just try to, like, put pressure wherever you can. So, like, me pushing in bot right here, right? Me pushing a bot. Made Anivia go there. Viego's already pushed up. Lee Sin goes in. Goes for the engage. This is good. And then we just go in for the kill. Right? We just fight. Because we know Anivia's not there. I'm looking at the Jinx, but it's all that CC. Prevented me from getting it, so it's fine. We just take down. We take down three of them. That's good. We have the Baron buff. We're ready to push. Probably get the mid inib here. Yep. Anivia can't really burn down the the soup uh the Baron of minions. Thank god. Now, if I could like if they potentially walk up here too far, like if I can make a pick safely and I know I can get the picks, then it'd be really good, right? Because then we can continue to push. If I were to like kill either Jinx or Nivia there. But I don't want to push too far for it, right? Because like if if I end up dying for it, then they just take this free drag. So I don't want to I don't want to make and do anything too crazy. Right now, I just want to farm my Lich Bane, go for these these kind of wins rather than like oh let's go in for the kill and you know take these risks. I go down, try to get money for the Lich. We see Scion TP in from the back. I W away and now watch this. Waiting, waiting, boom. Zanyas is kind of troll, but it's okay. We clean up this fight easy peasy. Notice how I played around with the daggers there. I think it was good that, like, you see how I was, like, autoing Sion a little bit? And then I ended up throwing the Q, and then E, and then W it away. Because, like, because of, oh, wait, wait, okay. I get the TP here. Now watch this. <laughs> and just just wait for his uh for his ulti. Easy peasy. <laughs> but yeah, it was good that I kinda threw out my daggers late in that situation at bot, just because like my daggers were able to stay on the ground for then like for the enemies to come, right? So it actually paid off very well. Me stalling out there was good. And we just go in for the for the game. Now after playing so many fucking games like yesterday and i was like losing literally all of them i i, I was at 95 percent loss loss rate this is the one game i won and guess what we ended up carrying ended up getting the win did the most damage and oh, it's just a good time now before i was about to i was about to slap somebody but we're good we're good now